Hello everyone and welcome to iBasiac, YouTube's channel full of vacuum cleaner news, views and reviews. Well today I have a review for you of this Hoover Jovis corded bagless vacuum cleaner. Now this little Jovis has a powerful 550 watt motor. It comes with a 6 meter cord so you should be able to reach right to the top of your stairs with no trouble and it has a 0.5 litre bin capacity. So here is the machine, it's fairly light, as I said it's 1.7 kilograms and it's finished in this rather fetching silver and translucent blue colour. Comes with two cleaning tools, you can actually use the machine itself and it does have underneath a built-in dusting brush that pops out there. Also a thread picker to help deal with more difficult clinging litter such as pet hairs although we do have a special turbo nozzle here which is specifically designed for pet hairs but of course I'll be testing that out in the full demonstration. You also get this crevice tool that fits onto the end of the machine for doing your nooks and crannies down the sides of your chairs in your car all those little awkward spaces that are hard to reach. This is the turbo power motorised nozzle, it's not an air powered nozzle, it's actually got a little motor inside and underneath there is a set of revolving brushes. Now this is designed to help deal with pet hair which is a bugbear for a lot of people removing pet hair from your upholstery, pet bedding and your stairs. Obviously I'll be testing this Hoover Jovis on a variety of surfaces and a variety of dirt. I will be focusing on pet hair because people looking for a small vacuum cleaner to deal with pet hair will obviously want to see how effective it is at picking up pet hair. The Hoover Jovis has a three position switch on the top of the unit, off, on and turbo. Now turbo doesn't increase the suction power, all turbo does is to switch the motor on in the turbo head. So you can have suction only when the machine's in the on position. If you want to incorporate the brushing action, you switch it to turbo. When you need to empty the Hoover Jovis, you simply squeeze these two buttons either side of the handle to release the dirt bin. And then underneath here, we have a filter. So you need to take that out as well. And then you can empty all the debris into the bin. You need to keep the filter clean. This is a HEPA filter according to Hoover. It's a two part filter. You have a mesh screen that comes away easily and then the pleated filter. Both these filters are washable. Rinse them under the tap, make sure they're thoroughly dry and then you can relocate them back in the machine. You can also rinse out the bin if it gets very dirty but again make sure that's dry before assembling it back onto the cleaner. Now as you can see, I've covered this chair with dog hair. The main bulk of it, the lighter colour hair, is from a golden retriever and the hair from a golden retriever tends to be quite oily and it does tend to stick to fabrics. The few pathetic clumps I've managed to put in the middle are from a miniature Dachshund whose hair doesn't tend to stick as much, in my experience anyway, as a golden retriever. So there's two different types of dog hair here on this blue cord upholstered seat. So I'm going to try the Hoover Jovis corded on all this pet hair to show you the underside of the turbo brush. And if I just switch it on, the first position will be suction only and as I move the switch forward you'll see the brushes start to spin. So as you can see they spin very fast but are they going to be effective at picking up this hair? I'll do a few stripes through the middle so we've got a, a direct comparison between the area I've cleaned and the uncleaned area. So let's see how effective this Hoover Jovis is at pet hair removal. Well, it's, it is making a difference. It's managed to gather quite a bit of the pet hair though underneath the nozzle. That's not what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to be picking it up into the bagless container. 
What I do notice from this machine, and I noticed from my initial unboxing when I did a brief test of it, the exhaust air that blows out of the machine is pretty forceful and you might have detected, I'm not sure if it showed, I wasn't watching my viewfinder, but I could see anyway a lot of the hair being blown away by the exhaust vents. So that's not, that's not really what a vacuum cleaner's for. You don't want it to blow the dust away, you really want it to suck the dust up. I'll try it from a different angle and let's see if that prevents the dust. Let's try and do a, a bit of a cross. In fact, I think it is better if I, I pull the machine front to back. Well, you can see a bit of a, a bit of a cross there. But it's just blowing, it's just blowing too much of the, the air around rather than picking it up. That's not very successful. I wonder what it's going to be like if I take off the nozzle, the turbo nozzle, I can just pull that off and just use the suction. I mean some of these are quite loose anyway, they should easily be picked up. But I did rub in. I did rub in the golden retriever hair. But as I say, it seems to be blowing more hair than it is sucking. Well, it's very powerful suction wise, I'll give it that. In fact, it's a little bit too powerful for this particular chair. I mean it will remove everything but it's, as you can hear, it's very noisy. If I want to do the little crease at the back I can attach the crevice tool. Hmm, not really sure. Just the first part of the testing of course. We'll just give it one more go. There's still a lot of hair stuck, stuck around the turbo nozzle. I think the thing with this is, this seat cover is pretty loose. The suction is very, very powerful. This, if you've got a handheld rechargeable vacuum cleaner, and you compare it to the power of this mains one, this will win for suction power without a doubt. Even if you've got an expensive Dyson Digital Slim, the suction power on this will blow that out of the water as any real, any mains corded vacuum cleaner will outperform at the moment any cordless vacuum. And anyone who wants to prove otherwise, show me. As far as suction power, I'm talking about air watts, this has certainly got more oomph than, say, my Dyson DC35, but even if I had one of the later V2 Dysons, the suction power on those would not be anywhere near the suction power of this. But obviously, it's a bit too much power. And obviously, all that suction coming into the nozzle is blowing out of the exhaust vents at a, a rather forceful rate. But anyway, let's just try and remove the rest of this, and then we'll go on to stair cleaning. Well, you know, as you can see, it is clean. And hopefully most of that hair will now be inside the dirt bin. I need to remove this nozzle before I can take the dirt bin off. And just pull that off. And we'll have a look at what the Jervis has managed to remove. 
Oh, where's all that hair gone? I mean, there's that. That could be, I don't know if I think I put more, where's it gone to? Perhaps it's all blown around the room. I, I expect a lot of the hair that was on the top of here has actually blown away, which isn't very good at all. They, they really need to angle those exhaust vents so they're not actually blowing the dust away. So I don't think that's all the hair, somehow. But in this chair there's also some other dirt that I didn't put down. There's some little gritty particles that it has picked up. And if we look on the... you can already see this filter was absolutely pristine before I started this demo. And already, just in that small area that I've cleaned, dirt is starting. Look how it's, you can see how it's coming off as I'm doing this. But that proves, I mean, this chair's in a spare room. It doesn't get vacuumed very often. I didn't actually put down any dust or dirt. It was just hair on this. So it has got, I can continue to tap that. And there's, look at all that. So it is quite effective at removing stuff that I didn't put down. I just put down dog hair onto here but it's found all this extra dirt as well. So, maybe not such a, a failure for this demo. Anyway, I'm gonna put some more hair down on the, the carpeted stair, some darker hair, which hopefully you'll be able to see on my beige carpets. We'll see how convenient the Hoover Jervis is at cleaning stairs. Okay, so I've put some more dog hair onto these carpeted stairs. Again, a combination of the black dashened hair and the white golden retriever hair. Now it's actually stuck to the stairs far better than it's stuck to that upholstery. I mean it it would take me forever to pick all that off. It is quite well on there. So we'll see if the Hoover Jovis Corded does a better performance on a carpeted stair. Well here goes, I'll just clean a little bit of this. Certainly more successful for stair cleaning. Again, it's still blowing a lot of stuff about. It's, it really makes this machine awkward. It just blows a lot of the dirt away. But anyway, this hair, fortunately, is mainly stuck quite hard onto the surface of this stair, onto the carpet. You know, rubbing it in, obviously, without it being switched on, it's not budging. I'll just try it, actually with the straight suction nozzle. Well, it is picking up the hair, but it is a bit more effort. And because it is, as I said, it's very powerful suction-wise, it's, it's a bit hard to push. Some, some of the hair is still there, look. Whoops, zoom out, there we go. I wonder if I switch it on, will it just be whisked into the bag compartment? Sort of. So a lot of the hair is being caught by the thread picker there. But I do think for stair cleaning, the turbo nozzle does make a difference. It uh, has a bit of hair on it though, as you can see. A bit of hair already trapped round. But it seems a little bit better for cleaning stairs.
as you can see it doesn't really get very close to the edge. The brushes don't extend very far to the edge of the nozzle. So for that stray bit of hair there, we'll attach the crevice tool and hopefully we'll be able to remove that in next to no time. Okay, so I've seen how the Hoover Jovis copes with pet hair on upholstered furniture and carpeted stairs. Let's see now how it copes with all this mess on my kitchen floor. Now I've put down a variety of different sized particles for the Hoover Jovis to cope with. The finest being flour and the largest particle being these malted square cereals. I can't mention the name, I'll just have to say malted wheat is. I can't say the shred is, it's advertising. Whoops. Oh well, they're shreddies. Actually, no, they're malted wheat is, but you know, they're that sort of thing. But I'll crumble one up so you can see. Oh, there we go. So that's the largest particle to deal with, and other particles include oats and rice. So as long as the Jovis isn't going to blow all this out of the way, hopefully it's going to leave a nice clean path through, I'll go diagonally for a change, through the middle of this dirt. Well, as you can see, yes, it's done a very good job where it sucked up the dirt. But as I'm sure you also saw, just what happened to quite a lot of the dirt due to the exhaust vents. <laughs> that is the major fault, in my view, of this cleaner. It just blows far too much dirt around. I mean, I'm going to be able to pick this up, but I'm going to be chasing the dust and dirt around this kitchen floor till kingdom come. Right, let's see all the dirt inside the Jovis. I've not emptied it since the pet hair demo. Let's just remove the filter. As you can see, ooh, quite a lot stuck on it there. That'll need a good clean, or at least tapping to get all the dust off it. And then we've got all the dirt. So it did manage actually to pick up these larger particles. The nozzle is wide enough to pick up quite large amounts of debris. So if you've got cat litter, that sort of thing you want to quickly pick up, it might be okay. There's still some hair stuck in there. But all in all, I can't really recommend this machine because of the main failing of it is the fact it blows so much air out at the wrong angle. If they'd redesigned the the vent, we obviously you don't want it blowing up in your face, but you don't want it blowing all the dirt away. So I don't know what Hoover need to do, but they need to do something because it's absolutely ridiculous. But I'll give it this, it's got a good good amount of suction power, but I can't I can't recommend this vacuum cleaner. It is quite heavy to hold and it's not all that comfortable either. I'm trying to put this back on, what am I doing wrong? There we go. It, it doesn't feel very nice to use and it is noisy. So I can't recommend it but anyway let's just go over this little area just to see the suction which is the only thing I find good about this cleaner. So, yep, great suction power. Whoops, <laughs> some of the debris just dropped out again. Hang on a minute. Now it's a little bit trapped. A little bit trapped in the nozzle. Let's about to see, so it's not actually gone beyond. So that's going to come out again. Oh well. Uh, it survived another day. I can pop that back in the packet. Waste not, want not. Anyway, so that's the end of my review on the Hoover Jovis corded handheld vacuum cleaner. No, I can't, hand on heart, I can't recommend this particular Hoover to you due to the fact, of course, the noise and main bugbear is the exhaust vent. It's just ridiculous the way it blows the dust away from the machine. So, sorry Hoover, it's a fail for this particular 
recorded vacuum cleaner. Stay tuned to iBasiac because there's lots more floor care reviews, upright cylinders, carpet washers, multi-purpose cleaners. I try to cover a wide variety of different models in my reviews. So if you like this video, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. So until the next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.